Hello and welcome to the S Word Live. My name is Renee Rebar and I am here to help you make sales simple and fun. And so today we're going to talk about overwhelm with sales. It happens so often. We have so many other things that we're doing. I have lots of clients who are creating new offers, right? Then they're creating live launches and they're creating new income streams. However, those take up creative space. And so it's very easy to put aside our sales activities and then wonder why we're not bringing in the kind of income when we created new offers and we had live launches and we had new income streams. So we can't kill the old offers or the old launches or the old income streams to create new ones. And so I have some strategies that I wanna share with you today to help you do that because I know that it's chronic. So say hello as you join, whether you're live or on the replay. Let me know, do you have new offers, live launches, new income streams? Let me know if you do or not. I'm sure you do. This is a great time of year to do that. So the first thing that I want to share with you about keeping that overwhelm down is what I call the postage stamp theory. And the postage stamp theory talks about how a postage stamp is tiny. And that if we have 12 different people telling us 12 different strategies to get to the same goal, how can we possibly effectively have all of those strategies in play at once? We can't. And so what I encourage is to keep that postage stamp size in mind. Hello, Melanie, thank you for joining live. Um, to have that postage size list size in mind, thinking about how many people can I actually listen to effectively at the same time. Again, there are lots of great people to listen to, lots of great books to read, lots of great coaches and teachers out there. However, we can't possibly expect ourselves to effectively listen to all. So that's the number one way that I help people release overwhelm is the postage stamp theory. Hello, Lori. Thank you for joining live. Nice to see you here. So say hello as you join, whether you're live or on the replay. Step number two to releasing that overwhelm is to have a container. What does that mean? Whether it's Asana or Trello or Google Drive or just your notes on your phone, every time you make a post, send an email, create a photo, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn, or for your website, wherever that is, log it. Keep it in a container so that the next time you want to make a post, write an email, do a video, or share some content, you don't have to start from scratch. This will give your brain some creative opportunities to create space around those new offers, those live launches, and those new income streams. So number three, is know that this is not your only chance. So whether you're writing, hey, Marty, nice to see you. So whether you're writing that email or that post or sharing something in a, in a call with someone, know that this is not your only chance. Take the pressure off yourself that you have to perform perfectly this time. This is not your only chance. I really want you to repeat that mantra. Maybe write it on your hand, write it in your notebook, because, <sighs> Truly, honestly, I, I work with so many amazingly smart women that put so much pressure on themselves because they're like, this is my only chance. It's not your only chance. Unless you know something I don't know, we've, we've got a lot more chances left. So allow yourself to just go, with, just go with it, knowing that it will never be perfect. Nothing will ever be perfect. So what? <laughs> so what? What you deem as not perfect is probably freaking phenomenal for someone else. So allow other people to experience your gifts, even if it's not perfect. And that is step number three to reducing the overwhelm when it comes to sales, because we can make sales simple and fun, and we can make time for simple, short, powerful, impactful um, sales activities each day. Hello, Maria, nice to see you. So. If you're not yet, make sure that you have my free zero to sales in 10 minutes a day freebie. It's a quick little video and guide. It gets you started. For those of you who are in my Sell Like a Mother program, make sure you review that again. It's a, it goes a lot deeper into those areas about what to do each day. Because if you're in business for yourself and you're your own, you know, you're, you do your own sales, you do your own marketing, you do your own delivery, you do your own creation and administration, you're going to want to keep it structured and simple so that you can release the overwhelm and keep your business profitable. I work with this a lot with the women that I work with. If you are interested in working with me closer, follow the link, continue the conversation with me, um, whether it's online or in person. I hope to see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.